Oh my gosh. Alright, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel. My name is Rich and thank you so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. And the game plan for today is extremely simple. We're just going to load up the kayak and pull it to the river and see what's happening. Alright, well I haven't fished in this area for like three weeks, so my guess is as good as your guess is how well we're gonna do but that's fishing we're gonna go figure out something all right let's hop in oh the seat's a little wet because we had some rain last night that there so I don't get cut turn on the fish finder and I'm gonna head in that direction and eventually get to some docks and seawalls that I want to hit with some artificials and the cool thing about today is I'm strictly just gonna throw lures to try and catch our fish <clears throat> And since to start, I want to cover some ground to get to our first spot where I want to slow down and then, you know, cast and fish. We're going to throw this Rapala out behind the kayak and troll. And I know a lot of you guys watching don't like trolling, but it is an effective way to fish, especially if you're just trying to cover some ground and figure out what's going on. A lot of little uh, seagulls around out here and uh, a couple hours ago I looked out here and I, I saw that they were diving on some bait and some small fish that were busting on it today is Saturday so there might be a lot of boat traffic out here today but we shall see hopefully it's nothing too bad Right here we got the tide line. So on the right, the tide's still trying to come in, but over here to the left side of it, the tide is starting to push against it and go out, which is kind of cool. And we trolled this Rapala now for like 10, 15 minutes and no bites. And as we, you know, get along this uh, shoreline it's gonna be a little shallower so I'm gonna reel this up and try something else <clears throat> oh we got a piece of weed on there too or palm frond or something I'm gonna try tying on this little z-man mullet swim bait and I'm yet to catch any fish on this so I'm hoping today will be the day that maybe we could get something there we go that looks good we'll put a little bit of procure on here What's kind of weird is we're like a day or two off the full moon and it's almost high tide, but I, I thought the water would be like a lot higher. gotta be something along this seawall this this seawall here is like one of the best ones in this in this uh, little area oh, oh, oh. 
some nice fish just popped under that next dock. Oh, see that? Something big just waked right behind my swim bait. And another wake right there. Probably Big Jack. There he is. Fish on. <laughs> Drag's a little loose. Found something to eat the mullet swim bait. Uh, micro jack. There we go. Better than nothing. Definitely not what swirled on our bait just a minute ago. And this is kind of a cool rigging system this swim bait has, how it has a line through rigging system so that when a fish eats it, it pulls the hook out, therefore trying to prevent any kind of damage to the bait itself or the lure itself. So there you have it, it, it will catch fish. I just gotta put it in front of the right one. Oh my gosh, monster snook. Oh my gosh. There he is. <laughs> oh man, monster. Are you kidding me? Oh. He's going right back for that dock. Oh, now he's going towards the seawall. No. Oh, he popped off right there. Oh, what? Dang it. The hook is intact too. He just popped. Oh man, that was the one. So just a little break from the action and wow, what an epic bite and fight from that last fish that sadly got away. But hey, that is fishing and you can't catch them all sometimes. But uh, I just wanna take this moment now to uh, thank today's video sponsor, Tide Chasers. And if you haven't heard of them, uh, maybe consider checking them out if you're looking for some awesome on the water fishing apparel. And if you use code FISHAHOLIC, you can save 15% on your entire order. And some of my favorite products that they have are the bibs, the rain jackets, and as well as this long sleeve bamboo tee that is buttery soft, it's breathable, lightweight, and UV 50, so it'll protect you from the sun out there on the water. And I absolutely love these little cuffs here to protect the back of my hands, and as well as this hoodie protect my neck and my ears from the sun and the wind. And I also love their waterproof hats here that are breathable, UV 50, and they also float, which is cool because I'm sure some of you watching have had a, a time on the water where your hat gets blown off and then you look back and it's just gone, you know, it disappears. But with this, because it floats a little, at least you'll have some time to look back and 
see your hat and go back and get it so it doesn't get lost uh, right under the surface in the prop wash. But anyway, again, if you want to uh, check out Tide Chasers, I'll put a link down in the description. And by supporting Tide Chasers, you help to support this channel. Now, let's get back to the action. All right. I think it's pompano time. Oh, there was one. Just missed one right there. I'm hoping that we can get a couple pompano real quick and then keep moving down to uh, get some more snook and jack. There he is. Fish on. That might be a pompano. Or a look down fish. There he is. Ah, oh, might be a ladyfish. Uh, it stinks. I'm getting these and not the pompano. <laughs> Poor man's tarpon going off. Good shark bait right here. Oh my gosh, there was one. He almost hit the kayak. There he is. That might be a pompano. Another look down fish. This is a pretty good size one, so I'm just gonna throw them in the box so at least we got some dinner here. Well, I can't believe it. We spent two hours on that last spot trying to get a pompano and they were jumping around us. Uh, some of them nearly hit the kayak, but I just couldn't get one to eat. And uh, the last couple months, it's been pretty good there for pompano. In like a couple hours of fishing, I would be able to get close to a limit, if not a limit there. But uh, I was the uh, in the past couple months, like the only one fishing on the spot I noticed. But uh, today, there were quite a few boats uh, coming in and out trying to catch the pompano, so the uh, secret is out. You know, a lot of people know that they're there, and uh, that could turn off the bite and make the pompano just a little more wary, and uh, maybe that's why we didn't get any. So we're gonna head down river now uh, and you know, probably fish down here for like two more hours and see if we can get some more uh, snook and or jack. And then on our way back to the launch, maybe we'll hit that pompano spot again if, uh, there's still some good outgoing tide and maybe we'll be able to get a pompano then. And then uh, we'll probably pack things up uh, close to sunset at a couple other spots uh, back towards the launch for some more snook and jack. So stay tuned. I'm uh, working my butt off out here today to try and put together a good catch. And at least if we don't get a pompano, we do have that nice size look down fish in the cooler, which are also uh, delicious to eat. So. I'm just gonna keep on grinding, and uh, hope I hope you, you guys are uh, enjoying the vid so far. So stay tuned. I'll try this mullet swim bait again because I'm determined to get something nice on it. We almost had that last big snook, but he got that snook got lucky.
Oh, oh, look at that. Something big out there chasing a mullet. Look at that, look at that, come on. Eat the, eat the swim bait, eat the swim bait. What? He's still going, trying to eat that, that mullet. Well, that was quick. Basically, as soon as we got to our first dock here, there was a jack trying to eat a mullet. But he was really dialed in on that one mullet that he was trying to eat. And he did not have any interest in this. Well, that was cool. I'm on this flat right now, right off this dock. It's only one and a half feet of water. And that's where this jack was chasing some bait. I'm sure if I had a top water plug, it would have been a little better because it, because it would have uh, caused a little bit more disturbance on the surface and the jack probably would have noticed it more. My gosh, terrible cast. There we go. I think that's a little bit better of a jack. Oh, he popped off. Ay, modeos. My lord. I can't believe that, that fish popped off. This is crazy. Note to self, this lure gets the bites, but the hook it comes with is not great. So <laughs> I'm gonna replace this hook the first thing I do when I get back home. Oh my God, there's another one. He's in between those pilings, so I gotta let him run. No idea where this fish went. I think he popped off. Yep, popped off. Again. And look at that. See how that hook is going into the bait like that? Huh. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why I'm losing a lot of fish. They're stacked up on this dock though. Oh my God, there he is again. Oh gosh. Damn, I can't stop him. Uh, there's just so much current right now. It's hard to go after him right away and then they, they're getting me on those pilings like immediately. Oh, I still got him. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a smart jack right here. I'm trying not to lose my lure, so that's why I'm opening the bale. Oh God, nope. This is a smart fish here. Very smart fish. Oh my gosh. 
What a mess. <laughs> oh my God, he's still on, he's still on. <laughs> oh, this is just a pain. There's too much current here and too many pilings. Man. Oh boy. What a mess. There's no way I'm gonna land this fish. Oh my gosh, what a mess. This fish is still, is somehow still on right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm almost losing my stuff here. Oh my God, this fish is still on. I gotta jump out of the kayak. Oh my gosh. This is just a mess right here. My rod went in the water. Jeez. I still have the fish on. What a mess right there. I don't even think this is that big of a fish. He just got me around all that structure and there wasn't much I could do. The current was going like to the side. The wind is blowing me this way. The fish was going any way it wanted to go. Ah. There he is. All that for a jack this size. Wow. Crazy. Try this again. This dock seems to really be stacked with fish. Oh, that's the danger zone right there. Oh, getting getting swirled on. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That was cool. They almost ate it right there. They were like some medium, medium sized ones like that. All right. This one I was able to keep out of there. There we go. Fun stuff. 
They're stacked here today. I'd imagine there's gotta be like a 15, 20 pounder cr cruising around this dock as well. Oh my God, that might be him. There we go. Run out there, run away from the dock. Run away from the dock. Sometimes they just love a particular dock. Right now we've got a perfect time of the tide because it's outgoing, but this is like the best bite that I've ever gotten on on this dock before. There's just so many jacks stacked up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh man. This spot is hot right now. And my Lord, look how deep this Jack ate this swim bait. Look at that. It's practically gone. That's crazy. I need the pliers for this job. There it is. Oh, he only had the tail down his gullet. Fun stuff. There he is. Small guy. Feisty though. He cranked it. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. Hello to you too, buddy. All right, let's try the rest of these docks here. The tide is really, really low. I could see in there along the seawalls, so I'm not really sure if the seawalls are gonna be good. So I'll probably start off by just focusing out on the ends of these docks here. This looks like another good dock. I've actually never fished this one specifically. So I'm learning to see if what is, to see if there's anything that hangs out here. So I'm gonna hit every opening the best I can. All right, let's try the seawall now. Right now, this is like the only seawall that is uh, partially submerged with how low the tide is. So maybe all the fish are gonna be concentrated here. Oh, 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 getting bites, getting bites. Oh man, dang, I just got wrecked right there along the seawall. All right, 
let's try a couple casts along here. Usually there's a snook or two along this seawall. Oh, look at that. Something's uh, tried to eat it. All right, well, going further down river past that very fishy jack dock. Uh, only seemed to be futile, but it was worth a shot. And we're actually already on our way back up river. I did stop off at that jack dock again, but I only had a couple of ladyfish and like a sail cat. So it seemed like those jacks moved off anyway. But we're almost back to the pompano spot. And I'm gonna take one, maybe two drifts there to see if we can get one. And if not, then we're gonna go to a snook spot a little bit further up river. And then after that, if there's still enough time, maybe we'll throw around that popper for uh, the hope of getting a big jack curveball, like 15, 20, 25, 30 pounds. Uh, you never know. So let's see. The sun is getting lower in the sky. So we don't have a whole lot of filmable daylight left. Oh, fish on. That was quick. Hopefully this isn't a ladyfish. Hopefully it's the pompano that we're after. It kind of feels like it. That didn't take long at all. There he goes. Oh, he just popped off right there. Dang. There he is. Got him. He just saw the kayak and he's ripping. <laughs> Got him. There we go. That's dinner. So unfortunately, that is gonna be about it for this video. After catching that little pompano, I did try to catch some snook and some more jack, but failed to do so and that was probably because of the slack water that we had. So I decided just to pack it in and call it for the day. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.